What's up everyone? This is Chukatron back at you with another video review. This time I'm going to be reviewing G1 Prowl. Okay, for those who don't know who Prowl is, basically he's one of the more um, kind of uh, leader type Autobots. He's one of the top Autobots actually. And um, basically he functions in the Autobots as a military uh, strategist comes up with ways to uh, I guess defeat the uh, Decepticons we see him frequently but we don't really see him not as much as other characters like Jazz and Ironhide but as far as the Transformers world goes he's pretty important unfortunately in the uh, in the uh, the Transformers movie he gets killed and that's basically it. Unfortunately, I wish they didn't kill him. And he, in his uh, alternate form, he is a Datsun 240Z uh, Highway Patrol Police Vehicle. Okay. And uh, his primary colors are black, white, and a little red here. Translucent red there. And that is pretty much it. He also has a bunch of stickers on him. And uh, let me just give you a 360 degree view of him. Okay. Alright. Okay. So that is him in his vehicle mode. His alternate mode. Okay. Now let's get to his transformation. Okay. First of all what I'm going to be doing is taking the back half of the vehicle and just pulling it like so and uh, next what I'm going to be doing is basically taking the uh, front half of the vehicle and just moving it up about 90 degrees uh, next what I'm going to do is take the the two halves of the vehicle and just open them up like so okay next what I'm going to be doing is taking the doors putting them up like so and um, next what I'm going to do is there's a little notch right here like a little knob you can just pull that up like so comes up from like the uh, bottom torso okay next what I'm going to do is rotate the bottom half you could rotate the top or bottom 180 degrees then just put the knob back down where it was well actually on the other side <clears throat> and uh, what I'm going to do next is take the little arms from right here as you can see and just pull them out like so okay next what I'm going to do simply is just uh, pull down the hood and uh, that's basically it and the uh, the roof of the car actually like rotates so you can pop the head right out there okay and that is him in robot mode okay he does have a little uh, chrome chromish red on his head um, and he does come with shoulder cannons Okay, and uh, this is a Hasbro reissue, so pretty much is like the Starscream. If you've seen the Starscream review, if you haven't seen, uh, check it out. And um, basically, if you just give me a second. Okay. Uh, basically, the only difference between the original and this one is basically the shoulder cannons and in the original one they launch and they're different colors uh, and basically uh, they're, they're chrome and white I believe and basically they launch and they're a little different looking than these but these do look hot and they plug into the side of his head like so 
and the only other difference is his gun. <clears throat> and that is black. Okay, just put this here. There you go. And that basically is the only difference are the pieces. Other than that, he is basically exactly the same as the G1 version. Well, this is the G1 the, as the regular version. Released in 1984. Now, um, he is really tough to find. Loose. Um, and Or even box or whatever. He is a very tough one to find. So, finding him... Um, that he's not a reissue is pretty rare but anyways I love this character I love this figure and I'm going to give him a n 9 out of 10 he is an awesome figure and if you're a collector you wouldn't you would not regret getting this figure he is awesome he pretty much looks a lot like the G1 uh, the cartoon and he is a cool figure out of all the cars, I think he is probably about the, the second coolest one. Uh, my personal favorite is Jazz, but let I'll save that for another review. Till next time, hope you guys like my review on G1 Prowl, and uh, peace.